<clears throat> so we're not making out very well in the feedlot. A lot of the animals are still out to pasture, so we're doing our best to get them feed. Uh, some of the grass is poking through now, so they're able to graze a little bit. And we're anxious to get this silage crop off. We had a monster crop this year. We're pulling off, you know, over 30 tons an acre. So it'd be nice to get this in the pile. <clears throat> Just, we're gonna have trouble traveling. We still have, still lots of moisture here, so we're not running out of time. The first stuff we put up maybe is a little bit high, but uh, so we have, see that's still wet. There's a lot of moisture in there, so we're not, uh, we're not running out of time, it's just we need to be able to get this bloody crop up in the pile, but we can't do it because this snow layer doesn't seem to want to leave us and it's just turned the field into a slop. So we're going to have to, as soon as the sun does come out, to dry the roads, we're going to have to leave ruts through the field. And it'll be next year's problem, I guess. So we have to worry about one thing at a time here. And the, prior, our, the priority is to get this crop in. So we're not actually in too bad a shape. We have all the cereals and oil seeds put up. We got that without any rain. We started early. We rented another combine, so we had four going. And we put everything up tough. Every bushel we combined was tough. A big crop. <clears throat> it just wasn't coming dry, so we just went anyways. We have these big aeration bins, and we <clears throat> took advantage of that and recycling it through our dryer, so it's adding another layer of work. But at least we got the crop in the bin where we can at least manage, and we've locked in that quality. So that allows us to rest a little bit better. Tough decisions being made, but it uh, looks like we made the right one on that. All we have left now is silage. We have uh, like two or three hundred acres of silage to put up yet and grain corn and a couple hundred acres of sunflowers. I was showing my brother the sunflowers earlier this summer and great big heads on them. I had like four or five bee yards touching that one field and I made a lot of honey on that. Great big heads but the problem is now the ground is saturated and terrible winds coming through, just knocking them onto the ground. So it's not as bad. He went up there and looked at it yesterday and actually the snow was holding the bloody plants up. So that's good and it's been desiccated so we just have to wait for dry weather. We might actually have to wait for frost in that field because it's going to be hard to travel with the combines. As in the corn. But like I say, we're going to have to Worry about the condition of the, you know, the field, rutting the fields up. We'll have to worry about that next year. And just primarily focus on getting this crop off this year because she's a big one and we need to get it. So sometimes these, look at the cobs on there. Massive cobs. These plants are like 15 feet tall. And look at the corn in that. This is a silage variety, so it it never does dent. So we don't like we're we're just wanting volume and tonnage and energy. And this this crop's got it. This is pride. So we've pissed away the last month so much work to do but you just can't get anything done because it's been raining and wet so you just got to be patient and let everything just happen I guess